Have you ever imagined having birds in your coop that not only provide you with an impressive amount of fresh eggs daily, but also give you robust, well-sized chickens for the table? Backyard breeders often face the dilemma of choosing between a super layer and a good-sized bird. But what if we told you that you can have the best of both worlds in a single hybrid? In this video, we are going to unveil a strategic cross that is revolutionizing home poultry farming, a Rhode Island Red Rooster with a black Australor pen. We will show you how this combination allows you to obtain offspring with superior egg laying and meat production levels. If you've ever wondered how to maximize the efficiency of your flock or how to get the best dual-purpose birds, this video has all the answers you're looking for. Stay with us until the end because we are going to cover crucial points that might answer many of the questions you have on your mind as a breeder. And before we start, I just ask that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and leave a like if you enjoy the content. Now let's get down to business. The cross between a Rhode Island Red Rooster and a Black Australor Pen is not a coincidence, but a very well thought out decision by breeders. It is a strategic cross that seeks to combine the best genetic characteristics of both breeds, uniting the robustness and vigor of the Rhode Island Red with the incredible laying ability of the Australorp. The goal is to create a new line of birds that surpasses its parents in terms of efficiency. This type of cross, known as a first generation cross, F1, is very valuable in poultry farming. By combining two purebreds, you take advantage of the phenomenon of hybrid vigor or heterosis, which produces offspring that are healthier, larger, and more productive than either parent. Carefully choosing the parent birds is the first step to ensuring the success of the entire breeding project. In this case, the choice of the Rhode Island Red and the Australorp is not arbitrary. Both are very popular dual-purpose breeds, which means that the resulting hybrid inherits a solid genetic foundation for both meat and egg production. The breeder who opts for this cross is looking for an all-in-one chicken that optimizes their coop's resources in space. The Australor Pen is the key player in this cross for one simple and powerful reason, her exceptional egg-laying ability. This breed has been raised and selected for generations with the goal of being one of the best layers in the world, which is reflected in her impressive average of 280 to 300 eggs per year. This number is not just a statistic, but a deeply rooted genetic trait that breeders seek to pass on. This incredible productivity of the Australorp surpasses most dual-purpose breeds and turns her into a true egg factory. Her ability to maintain a consistent lay throughout most of the year, even in less than ideal conditions, has made her famous among commercial and backyard breeders alike. She is an animal that works tirelessly to fulfill her genetic purpose. When the Australorp is used as the mother in a cross, this high-performance genetic trait is directly introduced into the offspring. This ensures that the next generation of hens has a solid foundation for becoming highly productive layers. The choice of the Australorp is not just for her eggs, but for the legacy of laying genetics that she brings to the cross. Although the Rhode Island Red is a fantastic and very popular breed, in this cross, its genetics are used to complement, not to dominate. Her egg production, which ranges from 200 to 250 per year, is very good for a dual-purpose hen, but it is surpassed by the Australorp. Therefore, her role in this cross is to provide other valuable genetic qualities. The Rhode Island Red is distinguished by its robustness, its temperament, and its great vigor. It is a breed known for its ability to adapt to different climates and its resistance to disease. These characteristics are equally important for a hybrid, as they ensure that the resulting bird is not only productive, but also strong and healthy. In this cross, the Rhode Island Red Rooster is the perfect partner that complements the Australorp's genetics. He provides the toughness and resistance that are necessary to create a truly complete, dual-purpose bird. It's not about rivalry, but about a perfect synergy where each breed contributes the best of itself for the benefit of the offspring. A key principle of avian genetics is that the mother hen has a significant influence on the characteristics of the offspring, especially with regard to egg production and other sex-linked traits. In this case, by using an Australorp as the mother, we are guaranteeing that the strong laying gene which makes her a champion is transmitted directly to the chicks. The genetic load that the mother contributes is crucial for the viability and success of the cross. The quality of her eggs, the pace of her laying, and the strength of her maternal instinct, if she has one, are factors that are imprinted on her offspring. The hen is not just an incubator. She is the genetic foundation that will determine the future productivity of the coop. This genetic knowledge is what separates a strategic breeder from a casual one. The conscious choice of the Australorp hen as the mother of the cross is what ensures that the final result is a hybrid with high egg production, a trait that is desired to be enhanced above all others. 
It is a decision that maximizes the probability of success for the entire breeding project. The decision to use a Rhode Island Red Rooster and an Australor Pen is based on a simple equation. You are looking for the best laying genetics for the females, and this comes from the Australor mother. By combining her with a Rhode Island Red Rooster, you get a hybrid that inherits both the productivity of the mother and the hardiness of the father. It is a proven formula for creating a superior bird. If the cross were done the other way around, that is, with an Australorp rooster and a Rhode Island red hen, the result would be different. Although you would get a good chicken, the female offspring would not have the same genetic load from the superlayer Australorp, which could result in lower egg production. This specific cross optimizes the final result. To put it briefly, the choice of the Australorp hen is due to a clear understanding of genetic inheritance. The breeder knows that if they want elite laying hens, they must start with a hen that already possesses that characteristic to its maximum potential. The Rhode Island Red provides the rest of the qualities necessary to create a robust and well-balanced hybrid. One of the most common results of this cross is a chicken that, upon reaching adulthood, looks very much like its Australorp mother. This dual-purpose hybrid exhibits shiny black plumage, very similar to that of the Australorp, which can be confusing at first glance. This color pattern is a direct manifestation of the mother's dominant genetics in the offspring. Despite its appearance, this chicken is not a purebred Australorp. The differences are noticeable in the details. Like its mother, its legs are black, a characteristic inherited from the Australorp line. However, in the color of its eyes, you can perceive the inheritance from its father, the Rhode Island Red, which gives it a unique touch. This color pattern being so similar to the mother's is a clear visual sign of the cross's success. It shows us that the Australorp hen has effectively transmitted her genes, not only in laying ability, but also in appearance. For the breeder, it is a way of validating that the cross has worked as expected. A second color pattern that may appear in the offspring is a hybrid with black plumage, but with a distinctive collar of red feathers on the neck. This pattern is very similar to that of the black star hen, which is a commercial hybrid known for its high egg production. This chicken is a homemade version of that hen, with the same production advantages. This pattern is an interesting mix of the genetics of both parents. The dominant black color comes from the Australorp, while the red collar is a manifestation of the father's color, the Rhode Island Red. The combination of both colors creates a hybrid that is visually appealing and easy to identify. In addition to its color, these chickens also inherit other physical characteristics. Like the first pattern, their legs are black. This uniformity in leg color is a constant trait in the cross and helps breeders quickly identify the offspring. This pattern shows how the genetics of both breeds can be combined in fascinating and productive ways. The Rustic Nick Brown The third and final color pattern that can result from this cross is a chicken with a light red color, similar to the Rhode Island Red but with a softer, brighter tone. This color resembles that of the Nick Brown line, another popular commercial hybrid known for its high production of brown eggs. This chicken is proof that the cross can also manifest the father's genetics in a visible way. This lighter color is a recessive trait in the cross, which means it is less common than the black patterns. However, its appearance is a sign of the genetic diversity that can be obtained. This chicken, although lighter in color, still has the same high production genetics as its siblings, which makes it equally valuable to the breeder. Like the other patterns, this chicken inherits the robustness of both breeds. Its appearance, although it more closely resembles the Rhode Island Red, is only one of the possible manifestations of the cross. The breeder can choose to raise all the chickens, regardless of their color, knowing that each one has a superior egg-laying potential. This cross of a Rhode Island Red Rooster with an Australorp hen results in the ultimate dual-purpose hybrid. This means that the resulting bird is not only an excellent layer, but also has a robust physical constitution that makes it ideal for meat production. It is an all-in-one solution for the backyard breeder. The hybrid inherits the good muscle development of the Rhode Island Red and the robustness of the Australorp. The result is a good-sized bird, with a strong bone structure and considerable weight that makes it an excellent option for the table. It is not as large as a purebred meat breed, but its growth is fast and its size is very useful. The combination of high egg production with a good physical constitution is what makes this hybrid so valuable. For the breeder, this means that every bird in their coop has a dual purpose. Hens that no longer lay eggs can be used for the table, which maximizes the efficiency and profitability of the coop. Both parent breeds are known for their hardiness and adaptability. The Rhode Island Red is famous for its cold resistance, while the Australorp is ideal for warmer climates. 
By crossing them, a hybrid is obtained that inherits the adaptability of both and adapts to most climates. This hardiness is manifested in disease resistance, a greater tolerance to extreme temperatures, and a great ability to forage on its own. The hybrid chickens are strong, self-sufficient birds that require less intensive care than other breeds. This is a great advantage for the breeder looking for healthy and happy birds without having to invest a lot of time and resources. In a backyard coop, hardiness is an invaluable trait. The hybrid chickens from this cross will not only survive, but will thrive, even in challenging environments. Their ability to adapt to the local climate and their natural resistance makes them a reliable and robust option for any breeder. The broodiness instinct in this cross is an interesting factor to consider. While the Australorp has a moderate maternal instinct, the Rhode Island Red has largely lost it due to genetic selection for high egg production. The resulting hybrid tends to have a low to moderate broodiness instinct. This is something the breeder must keep in mind. While the hybrid hens are not natural incubators par excellence like a silky, some of them may become broody, although unreliably. For the breeder looking for natural mothers, this cross may not be the best option, but for those who prioritize egg laying, it is ideal. However, for those who want to use artificial incubators, the low tendency to become broody is an advantage. This ensures that egg production does not stop and that the hens continue to lay for most of the year. It is a trait that adapts perfectly to a modern productive breeding system. The main objective of this cross is to obtain a hybrid that inherits the high egg production of the Australorp, but with the robustness and vigor of the Rhode Island Red. In most cases, this objective is successfully achieved. The hybrid hens are excellent layers, producing a large number of eggs throughout the year. The offspring inherit the laying genes of the mother, which allows them to have a very similar egg production to that of the Australorp. At the same time, they inherit the father's strength, which allows them to maintain that high production without suffering from stress or health problems. The result is a hen that lays a large number of eggs consistently. For the breeder, this means that the cross is a very profitable investment. With a single cross, a new flock of hens can be obtained that will outperform most dual-purpose breeds in terms of egg production. It is a way to improve the genetics of their coop without having to invest in high-production breeds. Both parent breeds are known for their climate resistance. The Rhode Island Red is one of the most cold-hardy breeds, while the Australorp is one of the best for warmer climates. By crossing them, a hybrid is obtained that inherits the adaptability of both and adapts to most climates. This is a great advantage for the breeder who lives in an area with distinct seasons. The hybrid chicken can tolerate both hot summers and cold winters without its health or production being affected. It is a versatile breed that can thrive in any environment. In a backyard coop, climate resistance is a very important factor. Birds that do not adapt well can suffer from stress, disease, and low egg production. With this cross, the breeder ensures that their chickens will be healthy and productive, regardless of the weather. The growth of the hybrid chickens from this cross is fast and vigorous. They inherit the dual-purpose genetics of their parents, which allows them to gain weight quickly and develop a strong muscle structure. Compared to purebred meat breeds, their growth is not as fast, but it is more than enough for a breeder looking for birds for the table. This rapid growth is a sign that the cross has been successful. Hybrid vigor is manifested in healthy growth and good overall health. The hybrid chickens are more resistant to disease and have a higher survival rate than their parents. For the breeder looking to produce meat naturally, this cross is an excellent option. The chicken from this cross has a good size and excellent meat quality. It is a way to obtain fresh and healthy meat without having to invest in purebred meat breeds. Managing this cross is very simple. You only need a Rhode Island Red Rooster and several Australorp hens. The rooster is responsible for fertilizing the eggs, while the Australorp hens are responsible for laying them. It is a natural and easy process to follow. Once you have the parents, the rest of the process is simple. The eggs can be incubated artificially or naturally if one of the hens decides to become broody. Once the chicks hatch, they can be raised in the same way as any other chicken. It is a process that does not require advanced knowledge of genetics. The simplicity of this cross is what makes it so attractive to backyard breeders. You don't need exotic breeds or expensive equipment. With a Rhode Island Red Rooster and several Australorp hens, you can produce a new flock of high-quality hybrid chickens. The temperament of the hybrid chickens from this cross tends to be docile and friendly. Both parent breeds are known for their calm temperament, which is transmitted to the offspring. This makes them ideal for family environments and for breeders looking for easy-to-handle birds. The hybrid chicken is not prone to being aggressive or noisy. It is a calm bird that gets along well with other breeds. 
Its docile nature makes it perfect for a backyard coop, where human interaction is common. For the breeder, a docile temperament is a great advantage. Calm birds are easier to handle, care for, and feed. They are also less prone to stress, which translates into better health and higher egg production. The profitability of this cross is one of its greatest attractions. With a single initial investment in a Rhode Island red rooster and several Australorp hens, a new flock of dual-purpose chickens can be produced with high laying and meat potential. This translates into a very high return on investment. The breeder can sell the chicks, eggs, or adult birds to earn income. The constant production of eggs ensures a steady flow of income, while meat production allows the breeder to have a sustainable food source. It is a way to turn a hobby into a profitable business. Profitability is not only measured in money, but also in self-sufficiency. By producing their own flocks, the breeder does not have to depend on commercial farms to obtain chickens. This gives them greater control over the health and genetics of their birds. One of the greatest benefits of this cross is that it promotes the self-sufficiency of the homestead. The breeder can produce their own flocks without having to rely on artificial incubators or commercial farms. This gives them greater control over the breeding process and the health of their birds. Self-sufficiency is not only a matter of economics, but also of food security. By producing their own chickens and eggs, the breeder ensures that their food is fresh, healthy, and free of chemicals. This cross is a way to return to the origins of poultry farming. It is a reminder that, with a little knowledge and the right breeds, you can create a sustainable and productive breeding system. The ultimate goal of this cross is to produce flocks with improved genetics. The hybrid chickens from this cross are not just a mix of their parents, but a new line of birds with superior characteristics. They inherit the best of both breeds, which translates into higher egg production, better health, and faster growth. This improved genetics is the key to a successful coop. Healthy, productive birds require less care and produce more. This allows the breeder to focus on other aspects of their farm, knowing that their chickens will take care of the rest. The breeder who invests in this cross is investing in the future of their farm. They are creating a line of birds that will provide them with consistent eggs and meat for years to come. It is a way to ensure long-term sustainability and profitability. The variety of colors in the chicks is a fascinating proof of avian genetics in action. As we have seen, the cross of a Rhode Island red rooster with an Australorp hen does not give a single result but can produce a range of color patterns that manifest the inheritance of both parents. The predominance of black chicks indicates that the Australorp's genetics are strong, but the appearance of patterns with a red collar or a light red color shows us that the Rhode Island Red's genetics are not inactive, but are expressed in unexpected ways. This genetic diversity is one of the greatest advantages of the cross. For the breeder, these color patterns are more than a simple curiosity. They are a sign of the genetic health of the flock and a way to understand how crosses work. By observing the different colors, the breeder can learn about the inheritance of genes and use this knowledge for future crosses. In conclusion, the cross between a Rhode Island Red Rooster and a Black Australorp Hen is a brilliant strategy for any backyard breeder looking to optimize their coop. By leveraging the genetic superiority of the Australorp Hen in egg laying and combining it with the hardiness of the Rhode Island Red Rooster, a dual-purpose hybrid is obtained that surpasses its parents in many aspects. This cross provides you not only with outstanding egg and meat production, but also with healthy, resistant, and docile birds making poultry farming a more rewarding and productive experience. If you liked this video and learned something new about raising chickens, please give us a like and share this content with other breeders you think might benefit. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next guides and leave a comment below telling us about your experience with this cross or any other combination you have tried. Your opinion is very valuable to our community. To your success, fellow breeder, until next time.